Monday, 14th of March, 2011. Japan reactors and the deadly MOX fuel they use. Japan exploded reactor used. MOX fuel. MOX fuel emits higher gamma radiation and much higher neutron radiation than uranium fuel. One attraction of MOX fuel is that it is a way of disposing of surplus weapons grade plutonium, which otherwise would have to be disposed as nuclear waste, and would remain a nuclear proliferation risk. However, there have been fears that normalizing the global commercial use of MOX fuel, and the associated expansion of reprocessing will itself lead to greater proliferation risk. Wiping MOX fuel. Next. In 2010. Anti-nuclear groups staged demonstrations against the Paul Thermal Power Generation Plan, shouting, no transport of dangerous MOX fuel. Critics point to the potential dangers of MOX fuel, warning that use of fuel containing plutonium exposes residents to greater health risks in the event of serious accidents. Next. CNET. News. The fuel used in the Japanese nuclear reactor where an explosion occurred today is more volatile and toxic than the fuel used in the other reactors there, a Japanese nuclear expert warned. At a press conference in Tokyo, Masashi Goto, who worked for Toshiba as a reactor researcher and designer, said the mixed oxide, MOX, fuel used in Unit 3 of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant contains plutonium, which is much more toxic than the fuel used in the other reactors. MOX fuel is a mixture of uranium and plutonium reprocessed from spent uranium and is sometimes involved in the disposal of weapons grade plutonium. A possible tsunami was the immediate threat here in BC. Now there is the risk of radioactive fallout. Two nuclear power plants in Japan are damaged. And as Bell Peary reports, that's cause for alarm here. Japan has declared a state of emergency at two nuclear power plants. Five reactors have been shut down because of cooling problems due to power outages after the earthquake. Radioactive vapor has been released from at least one of them to protect the reactor. The question is, where will the vapor go? We tend to see weather systems coming up and over via sort of the Aleutian panhandle or down through Hawaii and up and in. In the long term, it'll come to us. The danger depends on what happens in Japan. If the cooling systems aren't repaired within 24 hours, a core meltdown is a risk. The worst case is a Chernobyl scenario with explosions destroying the reactors and sending a deadly plume of radioactivity into the air. Nuclear experts say venting radioactive steam into the atmosphere to alleviate pressure in the reactors is bad for the population generally. The winds right now, for the short term, are good for the Japanese. If a concentrated plume of this so-called dilute radioactive steam comes their way, enters under their door sills, under their window sills, and they breathe it in, they're getting a dose of radioactivity. Experts say taking the lid off a reactor is much like taking the lid off a pot of boiling water. You can't control what's going to happen. And in the case of the reactors, no one can say how long the steam will vent, how high it will vent, and how far it will travel. Bell Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.